Coming back to the formal definition of algorithmic probability, denoted by m, it can be seen that the largest term in the sum of the equation is obtained when the denominator is the smallest, that is, when the length of the program p is the smallest, namely the shortest length of program p in bits that produces s. But the length of the shortest computer program is nothing else but the algorithmic pro complexity of s. Hence, we have found a beautiful connection between frequency of production of a string and its algorithmic complexity. The algorithmic coding theorem formally establishes this connection between algorithmic complexity and algorithmic probability, where algorithmic complexity is denoted by k. The theorem establishes that the algorithmic complexity of a string is proportional to the negative logarithm of its algorithmic probability. In other words, if a string is produced by many computer programs, then there is also a short computer program that produces the string, and if a short computer program produces a string, then it will also be more likely to be produced by more computer programs. This actually suggests a way to calculate algorithmic complexity by way of algorithmic probability, avoiding the use of lossless compression algorithms so widely used to approximate algorithmic complexity. We will see later how such a method can be implemented when introducing algorithmic information dynamics. The implications in the real world of areas such as algorithmic probability are very broad and fascinating if one allows some speculation. For example, according to classical mechanics, the world may be an unfolding algorithmic process. Suppose that all phenomena in nature can be carried out by a Turing machine as a computation. Then the algorithmic probability m of a physical event s would tell something about s actually happening. In fact, algorithmic probability can be used to explain the generation of a structure out of complete randomness, generating order in the universe out of nothing. We have a few um, essays and philosophical papers on the subject. Uh, one of those essays actually um, was awarded a prize by the Foundational Questions Institute, and you can read or consult it in the references uh, section. 